Hello and welcome back to another Black Eye Galaxy tutorial. This video will examine the salvaging team which is set to be released on Monday the 6th of December 2021. This guide will provide an overview of the salvage team, it will explore the salvage team's upgrade system, it will examine the current salvage logic and types of salvage available to collect across the galaxy, and lastly this video will demonstrate how to use the salvage team. The salvage team is a unique brand new NFT spaceship in Black Eye Galaxy that has a very attractive play to earn model while also offering a fantastic entry level price into Black Eye Galaxy for new players. The premise for this ship is that players will be able to send out their salvage team and use an advanced salvage radar to locate different rarities of salvage around the galaxy. Once the salvage has been located, the player can start a salvage collection process. Once this process has ended, the player can either keep collecting salvage elsewhere or they can send their salvage team to a salvage station where they can sell their salvage for BYG at a dollar value. Players will be able to purchase the salvage team from the BYG marketplace on Monday the 6th of December 2021. The team will be releasing the option to upgrade the salvage team to level 5 shortly after the successful release of the level 1 salvage team. The cost for purchasing the salvage team is $50 worth of BYG, and this gives the player a standard level 1 salvage ship. The price of the salvage team is attached to what is known as the Oracle system. This system simply attaches a dollar value to an asset. This means that regardless of the price or value of BYG, the price for an asset will be linked to a dollar value. This means that the salvage team will always cost $50 for players in BYG. This BYG amount will change as the value of the token changes, however, the amount of BYG for the salvage team will always reflect the cost of $50. The Oracle system also attaches a dollar value to salvage that is collected. For each ton of salvage collected, it is worth $1. This Oracle system is also used for ship upgrades, as seen in the table above, which outlines the upgrade cost and associated benefits as you level up your salvager team. Upgrading your salvager team can be extremely beneficial, as it increases the salvage team's APR and arguably ROI, it increases the salvage capacity, and reduces the amount of time to collect salvage. Players can upgrade their salvage team at the salvage station, which are located across the galaxy in large numbers. For the standard level 1 salvage team, the average APR sits at 384%, while upgrading to level 5 grants the player an average 548% APR. Lastly for this section, the salvage team costs 1 BYG per day while in flight, the same as the Asteroid Hunter, and does not have a standard charge for salvaging like the Asteroid Hunter has with mining permits in the mining process. Now let's discuss the upgrade benefits for the salvage team. In terms of collecting salvage, salvage collected is worth $1 for each ton of salvage. This creates a safer environment for players and allows players to always profit in a changing market, which attracts more investors regardless of their financial capabilities. With the salvage team, each level has an associated salvage capacity that can hold a certain amount of salvage in tons collected from gameplay. As soon as the ship's durability or salvage capacity is reached, the player will need to fly to a salvage station where they can sell their salvage and then the salvage team will be turned over for recycling. Essentially, this is not an unlimited asset, instead it is capped by its salvage capacity. It is a good idea to upgrade the ship so that you can continue collecting salvage. For example, for a level 1 salvage team, which costs $50, the salvage capacity is 242 tons, which is equal to $242. So, with a $50 investment, you will make $242 until your ship is handed over for recycling at the salvage station. You can upgrade your salvage level at any time at a salvage station to keep collecting salvage. The player can still sell their salvage when they want to at a salvage station, except when they reach their total salvage capacity, their ship can no longer collect any more salvage. You will have to either recycle the ship or upgrade it to the next level. This system has been introduced to ensure players do not have unlimited assets. Currently this is only being used on the new salvage team. Despite this, players will still be earning significant returns on the salvage team. Finding rarer salvage means that you can earn the same amount of money or salvage capacity over a shorter period of time. Or, you can find less rare salvage which will earn you the same amount of money over a longer period of time and thus it will take you longer to upgrade your ship. So there are still benefits in locating rarer salvage. The table on the screen shows you the salvage capacity as it is upgraded to level 5. The standard level 1 salvage capacity stands at 242 tons of salvage, with level 5 offering 1,652 tons of capacity. Increasing your salvage capacity means that you are able to operate longer and earn more tons at an increased capacity. 
When upgrading your salvage team's level, your collected salvage transfers to the new capacity system, so there's no need to worry about losing your salvage. Another benefit from upgrading the salvage team is that it reduces the number of days required to collect salvage. As seen in the new table above, the standard level 1 takes 39 days to collect all types of salvage, while upgrading to level 5 reduces this to only 4 days. Interestingly, for players who are not in the financial position to upgrade their ship to level 5, the level 2 upgrade, which only costs $50, more than halves your collection days to 17 days. Of course, if you are in the position to upgrade your salvage team, then upgrading to level 5 would be very beneficial. The last upgrade benefit is an increased APR. As you upgrade your salvage team, your APR increases due to how the days to collect salvage decreases, as explained just before. For example, upgrading to level 2 for $50 increases your total APR by a 38% difference, making your new total APR 422%. Hopefully all these tables help you understand the specifics of the salvage team and the associated benefits of upgrading your salvage team. Now let's move on to the salvage logic. For the new salvaging gameplay, there are 5 types of salvage available to discover and collect with your salvage teams across the galaxy. This system works similarly to the asteroid logic where there are different rarities such as common, uncommon, rare, epic and legendary salvage. This is the first type of salvage, or common salvage, which gives the player an average of 23 tons of salvage. This is the second type of salvage, or uncommon salvage, which will give the player an average of 25 tons of salvage. This is the third type of salvage, or rare salvage, which will give the player an average of 32 tons of salvage. This is the fourth type of salvage, or epic salvage, which will give the player an average of 36 tons of salvage. And finally, this is the fifth type of salvage, or legendary salvage, that you may have noticed in the last episode of Beyond the Galaxy. This is the highest tier available, which will give the player an average of 70 tons of salvage. I have made another table for you to help you to understand these different salvage types while you are in game. This table also outlines the range for each type of salvage. Moving on, the quantity of salvage available to players across the galaxy will be nearly double that compared to asteroids in the asteroid logic system. The team have decided to maintain an increased quantity of salvage to ensure that players can always find salvage despite the likely high numbers of salvage teams to be sold on the marketplace. Furthermore, the team have also taken feedback from the community and have decided to set a limited quantity of salvages to be sold on the marketplace. This number is to be set at 15,000 for the maximum number that will be sold for phase 1 of the sale, however we may decrease this number if we decide there are too many, or this may even increase through another sale in the future. Essentially, the salvage team will not be an unlimited asset, once we are ready to announce a limit we will let the community know in due time. Now let's demonstrate how to use your salvage team. First head over to My Assets. Find your salvage team under the Idle tab. Click on your salvager ship which will open up a new page on your asset. Click on the salvage radar. Locate salvage on your radar. Salvage will be displayed as white icons on the map similarly to asteroids. Once you have found some salvage, you can click or tap on the salvage icon which will bring up two options, either send here or details. To find out what type of salvage it is, we need to press details. This will open up a new tab showing the type of salvage. You can see a label next to the salvage which states its level of rarity. This could be anywhere from common, uncommon, rare, epic or legendary. I'll leave the table up once again so that you can pause the video and check the type of salvage you're looking at. Once you have cycled through each salvage icon you find and decide which salvage you want to travel towards, click back on the icon and instead tap send here. Authenticate the transaction with your wallet and wait the required amount of time to travel to that salvage. With the salvage team, the average flight range will be 2-4 to four days. Once your ship has arrived at the salvage, end your flight. Once you have arrived, scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll find information concerning the resources and mining time. When you are ready, click collect salvage to start the salvaging process. Now wait the required amount of time and salvage will be automatically moved into your salvage team's capacity. Once you have finished salvaging that specific type of salvage, you can click claim and cancel. After this, you can continue to find more salvage on the radar system or visit a salvage station to sell your salvage. To travel to a salvage station, open up the star map and enlarge the map. 
you will need to click on the star systems to find the salvage station symbol which is usually located next to the repair symbols next to planet names. I can see that there is one located at Iris, so I will send my salvage ship there to sell my salvage. Now I have arrived at Iris, which has the salvage station like many other planets. You will need to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Sell Salvage. This will tell you the price at which you're selling the salvage at, how much salvage in tons you are selling and how much BYG you will receive after tax. Click Confirm and this will process the transaction. Once you are done, you are ready to start discovering and collecting more salvage until you reach your salvage capacity. That is it for today's guide on the salvage team in Black Eye Galaxy. If you enjoyed this guide on the salvage team and want to keep up to date on future changes and tutorials, then please consider liking the video and subscribing below. From the team at Black Eye Galaxy, thank you for tuning in today and we hope to see you for the next video. Bye for now.